Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve the problems which are based on Eng's modulus, work done during longitudinal strain, then bulk modulus and work done during volume strain. First problem, determine the pressure required to reduce the given volume of water by 1%. Bulk modulus of water is 2 into 10 raise to 9 Newton per meter square. We know that when we solve the physics problems, then before solving, before solving the problems, remember some steps. First step is write down the given data, convert it into proper unit. Then main formula, write down main formula, calculations and final result with proper unit. So in this problem, first write down the given parameters. Bulk modulus K of water, that is capital K is given 2 into 10 raise to 9 newton per meter square then change in volume to the original volume is equal to 1 by 100 because here mentioned that reduce the given volume of water by 1 percent and we have to find out value of p as bulk modulus capital k is equal to volume stress to the volume strain and stress is nothing but f upon a which is equivalent to pressure p and volume strain is change in volume to the original volume if small v is the ch change in volume and capital v is original volume then we get k is equal to p upon small v upon capital v or putting here the values of given parameters 2 into 10 raise to 9 P upon 1 upon 100. 1 upon 100 means 0 0.01. So we get 2 into 10 to 9 is equal to P upon 0 0.01 or P is equal to 2 into 10 to 9 into 0 0.01 or final result is P is equal to 2 into 10 to 7 Newton per meter square. Unit of pressure and unit of Eng's modulus or bulk modulus is same. So this is SI unit of pressure. Then second problem, a wire of diameter 2 mm is stretched by a load of 10 kg. If the extension produced is 1 mm, how far would a wire of the same length and material but half the diameter be stretched by a load of 5 kg. So given data D1 is 2 mm means 2 millimeter therefore radius is half of diameter means 1 millimeter convert this millimeter into meter which is 10 raise to minus 3 meter. Mass M1 is 10 kilogram extension L1 is 1 millimeter means 10 to minus 3 meter diameter d2 is 1 millimeter therefore r2 is 0.5 millimeter or 0.5 into 10 to minus 3 meter m2 is 5 kilogram and where to find out l2 we know that bulk module n's modulus is y is equal to longitudinal stress to the longitudinal strain. So we get y is equal to mg into capital L by a that is pi r square into small l. As length and diameter of wire is same, so y is also same and we get m1 upon a1 l1 is equal to m2 upon a2 l2 here value of g that is 9.8 
meter per second square get cancelled and y also get cancelled. So extension L2 is equal to rearrange above equation M2 A1 L1 by M1 A2 or M2 A1 L1 by M1 A2 where A is pi, pi R square. Putting values of the given parameters M2 is 5 so 5 into area pi R square value of pi is 3.14 so we get 5 into 3.14 into 10 raised to minus 6 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 10 into 3.14 into 0.25 into 10 raised to minus 6. This 3.14 and this 3.14 get cancelled. And we get L2 is equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 3 by 2.5. Or L2 is equal to 2 millimeter. Then third problem. Calculate the elongation produced in a wire of length 2.5 meter and diameter 2 millimeter. When it is stretched by a load of 5 kilogram, also determine the energy stored in the wire. Young's modulus of the material of the wire is 8 into 10 raised to 10 newton per meter square. So y is given here, given data. Original length is given that is capital L 2.5 meter, diameter 2 millimeter means R is 1 millimeter. Convert this millimeter into meter that is 0 0.001 meter or 10 raised to minus 3 meter. Then M is given 5 kg or 5 kilogram. Y is 8 into 10 raised to 10 newton per meter square. And where to find out L that is extension. And energy stored. So we know that Ng's modulus Y is equal to Mg L upon pi r square l as y is equal to mg into capital L upon pi r square into small l therefore l is equal to we have to find out this small l so write down l is equal to mg into capital L by pi r square into capital Y Therefore, L is equal to putting values of the given parameters 5 into 9.8 into 2.5 divided by 3.14 into 10 raised to minus 6 into 8 into 10 raised to 10. So, we get L is equal to 4.877 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter. And energy stored in the wire is the relation is 1 half y a l square upon original length so as we know the value of extension so substitute it here and other parameters are also known so we get value of y is 8 into 10 raised to 10 area 3.14 into 4.877 square into 10 raised to minus 4 divided by 5 which is equal to 119.49 into 10 to minus 4 joule. So energy stored in the wire is 119.49 into 10 to minus 4 joule. Ng's modulus for steel means capital Y 2 into 10 raised to 11 newton per meter square. What mass must be suspended from a steel wire of length 2 meter and diameter 1 millimeter to stretch it by 1 millimeter? Given data, y is equal to 2 into 10 raised to 11 newton per meter square. Original length 2 meter. Extension L is equal to 1 millimeter. 
convert this millimeter into meter so it is 0.001 meter diameter is given 1 millimeter therefore radius is 0.5 millimeter means 0.5 into 10 to minus 3 meter as y is equal to mg into capital L by pi r square into small l therefore m is equal to pi r square into small l into capital Y by G into capital L. Putting values of the parameters, we get 3.14 into 0.25 into 10 to minus 6 into 2 into 10 to 11 into 10 to minus 3 upon GL that is 9.8 into 2 which is 19.6. Hence, mass m is equal to 0 0.08 into 10 to 2 or 8 kg. Determine the change in volume of 1 liter of water when subjected to a pressure of 10 atmospheres. Bulk modulus of water is 2 into 10 to 9 newton per meter square given atmospheric pressure this is standard value 1.013 into 10 to 5 newton per meter square determine the change in volume that means we have to find out dv given data volume v is equal to 1 liter means 10 to minus 3 meter cube dp change in pressure is 10 atmosphere convert this into newton per meter square so multiply it by atmospheric pressure so we get 10 into 1.013 into 10 to 5 newton per meter square then bulk modulus capital k is 2 into 10 to 9 newton per meter square and where to find out dv we know that bulk modulus k is equal to v into dp by dv therefore dv is equal to transfer this dv on left side and k on right side so dv is equal to v dp as it is by k putting values we get 10 to minus 3 into 10 into 1.013 into 10 to 5 means value of dp and k is 2 into 10 to 9 newton per meter square so we get dv is equal to 0 0.5065 into 10 to minus 6 meter cube a wire of length 2.5 meter and diameter 0.8 mm is stretched by a load of 10 newton if Young's modulus that is y is equal to 2 into 10 to 11 newton per meter square find the work done in stretching the wire given capital L or original length is given 2.5 meter then diameter 0.8 millimeter convert this millimeter into meter so we get 0.8 into 10 to minus 3 meter e is a stretch by a load of 10 newton so force is 10 newton if Young's modulus y is equal to 2 into 10 to 11 newton per meter square find the work done so before that we have to calculate area that is a is equal to pi r square as d is 0.8 millimeter or 0.8 into 10 to minus 3 meter therefore r is 0.4 into 10 to minus 3 and r square is 0.16 into 10 to minus 6 so area is 0.5024 into 10 to minus 6 meter this to minus 6 so 
we know that work done in stretching the wire is W is equal to one half load into extension. To find extension, consider F is equal to A into Y into X by L or extension is means value of this X is F into L upon A Y. Putting values of the given parameters, X is equal to 10 into 2.5 by 0.5. 0 to 4 into 10 to minus 6 this is value of area and 2 into 10 to 11 this is in the modulus so by calculating this we get to 25 by 0 0.5024 into 2 into 10 to minus 5 so this is 10 to minus 6 and this is 10 to 11 so at denominator 10 raised to plus 5 this 10 raised to plus 5 goes to numerator so it becomes 10 raised to minus 5 so we get 25 by 1.0048 into 10 raised to minus 5 or 24.88 into 10 raised to minus 5 meter as we get extension then we can substitute value of this extension here. So we get work done is equal to one half load into extension. Means W is equal to one half load is 10 Newton into this is value of X means this value. So one half into 10 into 24.88 into 10 to minus 5. And is equal to 124.40 into 10 raise to minus 5 joule unit of work done is joule hence we get w is equal to 1.244 into 10 raise to minus 3 joule thank you